take it. Uh, slowly. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Pull it down. Okay, okay. Okay. That's it, that's it. Hey, hey, hey! What's going on? What's going on here? You're not supposed to do work like this here. A gas pipeline is going underneath. Eh? Pipeline? What pipeline? Ah. We didn't see. See the warning board there? So, you're not allowed to dig here. Who asked you to do this? Uh, we, we don't know anything. Then who said Please this? ask him, sir. What's the issue? What's wrong here? Don't you know that uh, Gale's gas pipeline is going through this area? Gas pipe? Huh? I don't see any pipe here. My dear friend, the gas pipeline is going underneath. A natural gas pipeline. You're not supposed to do construction work here. For that, you'll have to take prior permission. Have you done that? No. Everything is clearly written on the warning board. Please read. Board? Okay, let me see. Natural gas pipeline. Well, you are right. My dear friend, for construction work, you'll have to take prior permission. Do it in the presence of officials. Or else, it's a criminal offence. You buried the dangerous pipeline. Now you are putting the blame on us. Huh? Oh, dangerous? These underground pipelines are 100% safe. Mm. Just have a look. See these overhead electrical lines? See it? Aren't they dangerous? But still we are using electricity. Mm, that's true. Ah, that's it. Similarly, everything is safe when you handle it carefully. Ah. It's same with the pipeline. Ah, all these digging activities are happening only in our place. <laughs> Is it because we are poor, helpless villagers? Ah, huh? <laughs> come on, my friend. Gas pipelines are there in every state. Here too. Oh, now let me show you something, please. Oh, uh, wait a second. I'll just show you the network of gas pipelines in other states of India. Have a look. They are all interconnected and are now in the form of a network covering the entire country. See? Mm, good. Now do you understand? These gas pipelines are all across the country, not only in our state. Another thing, world nations are competing to provide the benefits of natural gas to its citizens. Mm. Got the point? Okay. Natural gas is such an advantageous thing to make life easy. Got it? Yeah. Now in America, the network of natural gas pipeline is 5 lakhs. Oh. Yes. 5 lakh kilometers. In China, it is 2 lakh kilometers. Mm -hmm. In Pakistan, it's 1.5 lakh kilometers. Mm. In India, it's 16,000 kilometers. Oh. When compared to other nations, we are a bit slow. Mm -hmm. But companies like Gale are laying pipes all over India in a fast pace. Oh, that's good. Then our ranking also will be higher. Mm. Hey guys, mm. oh. let us stop this work for now. Okay. As he advised, let us take the permission first and then work. Mm -hmm. Why to take any unnecessary trouble? Okay. 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 I will take some more information from him. You proceed. Okay. Okay, right. Mm. Take the tools. Okay, right. Sir, mm. I have some doubts. Mm. Please ask. You know, I know everything about it. Mm. Still, mm. there is one doubt. Mm. What is exactly this natural gas? <laughs> and in what way it is going to help common people <laughs> like us? One should know, right? <laughs> Come on, I'll explain. <laughs> See? Okay. Already we are using natural gas directly or indirectly. Let me show you something. Please wait. See, have a look. See, hmm. CNG auto riches, buses, cars, also used for fertilizer manufacturing, hmm. plastic manufacturing, okay. pain manufacturing, hmm. in homes for cooking. Hmm. Now see, in generators. Nowadays, everywhere natural gas is being used. Mm. You know another fact? This natural gas, when compared to other fuels, petrol, diesel, LPG, mm. coal, etc., is far more safer and environmental friendly. Mm. Because the environmentally harmful carbon which is produced while these fuels are burning is far more lesser in the case of natural gas. Mm. That's not all. Natural gas is cheaper too. Interesting. Then why this natural gas can't be given to common people like us also? <laughs> you know, the price of petrol and diesel mm. are shooting up. See, we are laying these pipelines for the benefit of the people. Mm. And one more thing, how this natural gas is made and how it reaches us. Let's have a look, shall we? Yes, of course. Mm. I know that petrol, kerosene mm. and diesel are dug out from the earth. Mm. But I have no idea where from natural <laughs> gas is coming. <laughs> also, mm. is it there in sufficient quantities? <laughs> I'll show you something. Come, have a look. 
how natural gas is formed and uh, how it is distributed across the country through pipelines. Have a look. Natural gas is formed from the remains of plants and animals that were buried in deep layers of earth millions of years back. These layers are recognized and located and the natural gas is extracted from the depth. This is liquefied by cooling it to minus 160 degrees. As it is liquefied, its volume reduces and we can transport it conveniently from one place to another. The liquefied natural gas is shipped to various countries. The liquefied natural gas that reaches our country is converted back into gaseous form and is handed over to Gale. Now Gale distributes natural gas through its pipeline network deployed all over the country. Mmm, oh great! <laughs> So, we too will be getting hmm. natural gas pretty soon, hmm. right? But there's one doubt. Hmm. What's that? This pipeline hmm. you are talking hmm. about, this gas pipeline that is buried hmm. underneath, is it really safe? I'm asking this because you hmm. said you should not do any work in these areas. Hmm. Please come, I'll show you. This way. Come. See, the pipeline is buried one to two meters underneath the earth. This is the pipe that is used to carry natural gas underground. These 30 inch diameter pipes are made of carbon steel. The pressure of the natural gas passing through these pipes is 70 kilogram per square centimeter. Whereas these pipes are designed for 92 kilograms per square centimeter. Also, these pipes are tested at a pressure of one and a half times its designed capacity. That is 140 kilograms per square centimeter. Thus, it is ensured that there is no chance of leakage. Apart from this, the three-layer polyethylene coating and the cathodic protection technology make sure that the pipe will not rust and will maintain its high quality always. Wow! Super! Now I understood clearly about natural gas and gas pipeline. Hmm. Now you don't have to worry about anything. Hmm. In our area where this pipeline is passing through, hmm. no illegal construction will take place. Hmm. I will ensure that. You don't worry, sir. <laughs> Let me leave now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, close that pit now. Let's go to our agricultural land. Gale's pipeline passes through agricultural land, paddy fields, grasslands, etc. There may be people who may not be knowing about this. So, to the agricultural land. Hey, you have been cheating me all these days. Isn't your work not yet over? You use my JCB and my money. Now, when not the work is completed, you are really darling. Day before not yesterday, not you told me you will pay something. yesterday. Yesterday, you told me Boss. you would pay today. When are you planning to pay? Eh? Hey boss, uh, 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 uh. boss, have what's a look a, at this board. Minute, minute. Hey man, if you are not paying Can you by see what is written evening, there? I will come there. Huh? What is boss, it? Boss, this seems important. Some phone number is written here. Whatever, forget it. It is none of your business. Boss, it seems some pipeline is here. Yeah, don't worry about this thing. Hey, hey, Just hey, do hey. your work. Okay. What's happening here? Who is, what's happening? Who is this? Huh? A police in disguise? Oh. oh, I see a JCB. What's going on? We are walking here. Oh, you are not supposed to do things like this. See the warning board. Didn't you notice it? We didn't notice it, eh? sir. We were just talking about some yes, other yeah. matter. Yes, See, yes. Gale's natural gas pipeline is passing through this area. So, okay. construction work using JCB is prohibited in this area. Oh. You got it? Okay. This is what I was saying. Then what about all these farming going here? Are you stopping that too? Listen to me. The gas pipeline is laid 1.5 meters below the earth. There is no harm in cultivating in these areas. Oh. Just have a look. Isn't this an agricultural land? Isn't it? Huh? Yeah. So, there is no problem in cultivation. Oh. But, you should not plant trees with deep roots. You should not dig bore wells. Then, work using JCB is strictly prohibited. In case you have to do it, 
you will have to take pi permission how is it possible we cannot get pi permission each and every time we work we oh, have to work okay. with the jcb okay okay i'll do one thing i'll call the police let them do the talking yeah, i'll call the police shall we school they'll talk that to you that will be they better to talk to you huh oh they're gone see a beautiful agricultural land no harm is caused due to this pipeline to your farmland or to your cattle another important thing the areas through which the gas pipeline is passing 10 meters around the pipe is marked as rou by gale please note no construction work is permitted in this area now let's do one thing let's go to the city a lot of construction work happens everywhere in the city so off to the city Did you see piling was done carelessly and without prior permission that has caused this accident Construction work in this area is strictly prohibited it is written clearly in this warning board but this warning was ignored only because of that this accident was caused these careless and unofficial construction work can cause leakage in the gas pipeline in case an accident like this happens what should we do For example, we had an accident here. Now, what should we do? What I do is move to a safe place and make a call to the toll-free number mentioned on the warning board. 15101. This is the Gale Control Room emergency number. When you call to this number, please make sure that you're sharing your name and the place where the accident happened. Hello. Yes, Gale Control Room. Gale Control Room. Hi, my name is Anthony. There is an accident near Kalamashari. Please come as soon as possible. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Now, let's see what is going to happen. If there is a leakage in Gale's natural gas pipeline, there is nothing to worry. Natural gas is lighter than air. So it goes up and disperses immediately. There is an installation with a boundary wall which also includes sectionalization valve and venting system. In every 16 kilometers where the gale pipeline is passing through there is one such station. These valves can be remotely operated. Now here the leakage is almost in the middle of the 16 kilometers. Once the gale control room receives the information on leak gas supply is stopped. Next, the sectionalization valves on both sides are closed. After that, the vent valves on both sides are opened. The remaining gas in the damaged pipeline is released. This reduces the amount of gas coming through the leakage area and the situation comes under control. In case you have to do any construction work in the area where the gas pipeline is passing through first call the toll free number 15101 shown in the safety warning board following this gale representatives will come and mark the exact position of the gas pipeline if the job spot is safe permission is given and job can be done in presence of officials Now I hope you understood what to do in case of a leakage. Immediately move to a safe place and call the toll-free number displayed on the warning board. To get timely help, don't forget to share your name and the place of accident. Now, let's see how the Gale pipeline network is growing in Kerala and its neighboring states Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. Shouldn't we get the benefits of natural gas? Am I right? The liquefied natural gas transported through gas tankers is stocked at the Petronet LNG terminal at Puduvai Perkuchi. From here, it is converted into gaseous form 
and given to Gail. Gail transports it to various users in Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, etc. In Kerala, this pipeline network from Kochi reaches Kutanad via Trishur. From there, it divides into two branches. One branch passes through northern districts of Kerala, Malapram, Korikod, Kannur, Kasargod and ends at Mangaluru. The second branch moves from Kutanad to Coimbatore, Tirupur, Erod, Salem, Krishnagiri districts in Tamil Nadu, reaches Bangalore in Karnataka and connects with the national gas network. Through the Gale Gas Pipeline Network, people of Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka can get cooking gas, CNG for vehicles and industrial fuel at a cheaper rate. This gives financial benefit and a healthy environment for these states. Another important fact is that coal, petrol, diesel, kerosene, LPG availability is decreasing and the rate of pollution is increasing too. It is impossible for the world to go ahead without natural gas. Studies show right from the period when natural gas was used, its usage is increasing and the risk of use is also tremendously decreasing. Once these pipeline projects are completed, as mentioned earlier, natural gas will be available in the form of fuel for vehicles, as fuel for cooking purpose, fuel for industry and for commercial purpose. So, let's get ready to welcome environmental friendly and safe natural gas into our day-to-day -day lives.